Next, guys, I'll try to uh, troubleshoot a new issue that uh, showed up here after playing the radio for uh, a number of hours. You can see if I put my uh, lead here of RF generator that's generating a CW carrier in close proximity to the antenna. It sounds like we've got some overloading and I think we've got a problem with the uh, automatic volume control. A little troubleshooting here on the automatic volume control. And I've got my oscilloscope hooked up here to the high side of the volume control. You can uh, see where I'm connected there on the uh, schematic itself. And you'll notice the uh, waveform that I'm seeing. Let me bring the amplitude up here and let's just see what happens. So it looks like the uh, capacitor that should filter out the uh, IF frequency, which you can see here is north of 455, for whatever reason is uh, not doing its job. That's what I'm uh, speculating. Let me remove the uh, capacitor here now and see what happens. Let me do some more testing here. Uh, I'm guessing that uh, capacitor, which is inside the uh, second IF transformer here, is uh, possibly shorted. You can see I've got the second IF transformer out. This one made by Raytel Products. Very common for that uh, silver mica disease, or SMD. As you can see, this transformer has uh, five legs on it. This uh, center position here is the uh, side that I'm interested in. That's where the 155 picofarad capacitor resides. I'll pull this up on the picture-in-picture -picture so you guys can see it. But the uh, purpose of that capacitor would be to shunt the uh, 455 kilohertz signal to ground. And, of course, some additional filtering is done uh, post this circuit as well. Let's uh, check DC resistance here real quick and see what we have between points 2 and 5. So you can definitely see that the uh, capacitor is shorted. And I believe this to be the uh, cause of my problem there with the uh, AVC circuit reading about uh, 18.54 K ohms. Let's uh, switch over here and look at uh, capacitance. And if I force it into the uh, capacitor mode here, you can see I'm reading about uh, 124 picofarads. So uh, just under what we uh, should be looking for. So what I'm thinking about doing, this uh, transformer would definitely be a candidate for um, the SMD to propagate over the uh, primary and secondary side. So I need to order some capacitors to uh, actually make a uh, permanent repair. And I'm not hearing any noise propagate across the top. And um, it looks like I can um, resonate the uh, transformer at uh, 455 uh, kilohertz here on the secondary and primary. So for now, until I get my replacement caps, which I'll put in permanently here on the bottom side, because I don't have room inside the can, I don't believe I might be able to stuff them in here between the uh, coil former and the leads. I'll try to do that if possible. But I'm going to cut this uh, center lead position here and place it where I can solder it back in place if needed for support later. But uh, see if I can mount a uh, capacitor there between this point and this point, somewhere in the value of 150 picofarads up to about uh, 250 or so. 
and go ahead and solder this back in and see if that uh, remedies the uh, problem. By the way, this particular uh, transformer, the adjustment here on the uh, top is the uh, secondary and the uh, bottom is the uh, primary adjustment, the way the uh, coils are attached. So to make that permanent repair, you know, just go in here and uh, cut these uh, mica sheets out. Let me move some stuff around here on the bench. I'll go ahead and do this off camera. You can see I've got to clean up all this uh, old solder that was on the uh, transformers here. Clean those up, dress those up. Again, make a small cut here and uh, I'm going to solder a, another little uh, mica capacitor in for right now that I have across those two points. Try to get this back in the uh, can. Tack it back in place and uh, we'll fire this thing back up and see if we get any improvement there. Here's the uh, temporary repair I made. You can see where I put a uh, ceramic cap in there. Again, this is just acting as a uh, bypass cap to take the uh, RF signal uh, back to uh, B minus or ground. And I've got all the uh, terminals here cleaned up. Let me uh, get everything here back together and tack it in and um, like I said, I'll come back at some point, need to order some caps, and just go ahead and make a permanent repair on this so I'm not back in here in the future. But let's see if this takes care of the issue. Uh, by the way, checking uh, DC resistance now between this point and the center point, we're uh, completely open. So uh, I feel pretty confident this will resolve the problem, but uh, you never know. Having this thing open may uh, create problems now, and uh, we may have SMD occurring on the uh, primary or secondary side. We'll see. I'll flip it over just to a CW carrier. And now you can hear the uh, oscillation's not occurring because of that shorted uh, capacitor there that acts as a bypass.